Garceau with the On Your Side forecast. All right, let's talk about that wind, shall we? I know I'm harping on it today, but it is going to just be howling. It's kind of a door ding kind of day. You know what I mean? Where you're in the parking lot and the wind tries to whip the door open right as you open it. So hang on tight to those doors in parking lots today. We have that wind advisory in effect until 8 o'clock tonight. From the Boise area south through most of Owyhee County right now over into the Magic Valley as well. We're talking wind gusts possible of 50 miles per hour. Sustained winds at 25 to 35 miles per hour. That is just kind of slap you in the face type wind. And it's that cold northwesterly wind as well on the heels of yesterday's cold front. They brought in some rain and some snow and kind of a wild mix of the two for a lot of the Treasure Valley. So the good news for today is the precipitation is over and done with. This will look like a beautiful beautiful day if you're from the inside looking out, but it just won't feel all that great because of that very cold wind and our temperatures will stay well below average today, touching just the mid 40s. We should be in the low 50s at this point in March as far as our typical temperatures go. Now we are seeing a couple of light little snow flurries still in far eastern Idaho, a couple of little flurries popping up on radar this morning. For the most part, though, that moisture is over and done with across the northwest has quieted down quite a bit, but the big weather headline as well. You'll be hearing a lot about this on the national scale are the storms that are developing right now across Texas. Last night we had some reports of tornadoes. Look at this line of severe weather stretching from Texas up towards uh, South Dakota at this point. This will continue making its way east. We have blizzard concerns coming in, howling winds, and yes, tornado concerns as well. So you'll be hearing a lot about that over the next couple of days as there is some wild weather in the middle of the country. Again, for us, it's just that wind and a couple of light snow showers won't amount to much, if anything, measurable at all today. Across the Treasure Valley, lots of sunshine through 5 o'clock this evening. Tomorrow morning will be cold, but slowly that wind will kind of start diminishing and fading away. So by Friday, we really start improving. Cold air will have hold of us still through tomorrow, so temperatures will be cool again tomorrow, but the wind will subside, so your Thursday is looking much more bearable than your Wednesday. We may see places like Vail, Weezer, Ontario. You may touch 50 degrees today, though it will feel nothing like 50 because of that wind, and it will be cooler as you head towards the upper valley. 45 for Boise, just 44 that high for Mountain Home today. Mostly sunny as you had higher in elevations, a couple of light elevated snow sh or isolated snow showers, but uh, not much else in the way of any activity up in the mountains. A high of just 31 from a call 33 in Cascade today. As you head to the eastern mountains, low 30s for Stanley and Sun Valley. Very brisk, very cold wind in Fairfield and a high of just 36 degrees with some variable cloud cover there. Mostly cloudy in the Magic Valley today. A high of just 38 for Twin Falls and Burley. Those gusts of 45 to 50 miles per hour. So again, it will be a very raw kind of late winter day, but hang in there. There is improvement on the horizon tomorrow. Calmer, but still cool. Back into the 50s with sunshine on Friday. And then look at Saturday into St. Patrick's Day. Absolutely picture perfect, beautiful. And then next week into the 60s, temperatures we haven't seen since last fall.